Hey folks, it's the Drew American Podcast and I am your host. Look guys, um, I just interviewed a couple of great thinkers, local conservative thinkers, and we talked about you know, a variety of things. Namely, we talked about the recent um, campaign election uh, for mayor, mayor of Louisville, uh, sort of giving our feedback, our thoughts, our comments on that. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. That should be out well, within the next 7 to 10 days. So check it out. It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican. If you're a citizen, Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky, if you love Louisville, you need to check that out and hear what those uh, two uh, local thinkers had to say about the uh, mayor election. Also, um, I am going to be doing an interview soon of... Uh, Martina Kanucky, uh, I firmly believe, still believe, she was basically shut out. Uh, and, and indirectly, I would almost view that as voter suppression. And when I say shut out, well, what do I mean? Well, I don't think the uh, Courier Journal gave her any sort of significant coverage. They should have. I might be wrong in that. During my interview with uh, Martina, I'm going to bring that up, you know, see what she has to say. But she definitely was shut out by the Louisville Defender. Um, I have, the Louisville Defender did an October issue where they profiled all the people running for office at that time, including um, the mayor, you know, for mayor, uh, William Deeruff, and of course, uh, our brother, Brother Greenberg. But Martina was not profiled. She wasn't profiled at all. That was wrong. She was shut out. And to some degree, again, I say that's voter suppression. When you don't share information on all the candidates, you are to some degree sort of making the determination, well, this is what I think you should hear, and this is what I think you shouldn't hear. Okay? I don't think that's the Louisville Defender's place. But it did happen. Maybe the Louisville Defender has a different position. Maybe they'd like to come on my show sometime and defend what they did, but they did what they did, and it's clear and obvious. So I'm not talking about some sort of conspiracy. I'm talking about something that evidence is clear. And then two, the Louisville Urban League, they did like a candidate's forum, and they shut out Martina. They did not bring her on that forum. They shut her out, okay? Louisville Defender, you know, Miss Louisville Urban League, shut out a black woman. Black woman was running for mayor. This black woman, she's not, I'm not saying vote for her because she's a black woman. I'm not saying listen to her because she's a black woman. I'm saying listen to her and question her. Check out her website because she's got something to say that's very important. She also has been active in this community for 20 plus years. And folks, let me tell you something. Martina and I, I don't think we agree on you bring up 10, 10 topics, I don't think we'll agree out of eight. Out of eight of them. We'd be doing good if we agreed on two. But I respect her. I interviewed her in my my program, my podcast, True American. You guys know this. Go, you know, go search for it. Uh, go to my YouTube channel, Corbin Severs, S-E-A-V-E-R-S, and uh, go to YouTube, put in the search engine my name, and uh, my channel will come up. And my interview of Martina is on there. Okay? Okay. Um, and, and by the way, if you do that, please uh, like and subscribe. So uh, my position is that she needed to be heard. Now, look, you know, Greenberg is, you know, Brother Greenberg won first place. Um, he won mayor. He's the mayor now. Uh, and, and, and I also want to take this position and say, thank God he survived that clearly anti-Jewish attack. I believe that Brother Greenberg was almost assassinated uh, by this nut job black anti-gun activist, and I believe he was fueled by uh, his anti-Semitic thinking. Okay, now I'm not one of those idiots who who say, you know, based upon your thoughts, you know, you're going to kill, and so therefore certain thoughts should be suppressed or banned or anything like that. I think that's dumb. I think people should be held accountable for what they do, and what that that black anti-gun activist uh, did 
he tried to assassinate Greenberg is obvious, and I believe that he did so because Greenberg is a Jewish brother. And, you know, that needs to be exposed and condemned. And I heard some Jewish brothers and sisters here in Louisville didn't want to bring that aspect up because they were fearful how people respond. But I'm telling you, I'm not Jewish. I am a black man. I am a conservative. And I'm telling you, it was an anti, it, that clearly was an anti uh, Semitic attack. I really want to avoid saying anti Semitic because my definition of anti Semitism may not be your definition, but it, it was a, it, he was attacked by this uh, anti uh, gun advocate, black activist, because the brother was Jewish. Okay? Thank God he didn't hurt Brother Greenberg or kill anybody else, and thank God he was apprehended. And now he's in he's in jail and he in this praise God hope pray to God he gets a good fair trial. Uh, and personally I think he should be convicted, but hey, I digress. Let me go back to Martina. Folks, Louisville Urban League, they should have had her on that form. Because Martina came third with very little money, very little exposure, and Martina wasn't asking for um you know the any any special favors but it's like it's sort of funny you, you, you listen to all that woke stuff from the Louisville Urban League well they they give a, a form to these two white dudes but they don't give a form to this black woman if you if it had been a white organization that had done that like the American Family Association oh okay we're going to have these two white guys up here running for mayor we're going to give them an opportunity to talk to folk but we're going to uh, quietly shut out this black woman, they would have been accused of racism. You know that's a fact. Come on, folks. Who are you talking to? Talk to me. All right? So anyway, um, we're going to be doing some uh, interviews with her, an interview with her, uh, and hopefully it'll be out, hopefully it'll be out five to seven days from Friday. And I'm also going to be interviewing Sir Friendly C. As you know, that, that brother's been doing good work in Louisville for for eons. I mean, you know, there are trees in this, this city could talk to you about Brother C, you know, and his work, how far it goes back. And everybody knows Sir Friendly C. And and again, I don't have, I think he's a member of the Democratic Party. I don't have any, I'm not a member of the Democratic Party. But here's my, here's what I wanted to, here's why I'm interviewing Sir Friendly C. That brother lost by 35 votes. 35 votes. Man, that's saying something. Okay, that's not a blowout. Thirty-five votes. Even if a hundred, even if two hundred people voted, and he still lost by thirty-five, that's close. Okay, that's close. Here's the issue, though. Not that he lost by thirty-five votes, or the, or people claimed he lost by thirty-five vo votes. Sir Friendly C, my understanding is that he requested a recount. Okay, cool. That makes sense. I request a recount too. And as a matter of fact, if I was the winner, I would want a, a, a recount. Dude, what I heard was that Sir Friendly C, they said, well, yeah, he went to the property authorities and they said, yeah, we'll do a recount, uh, but it's going to cost you $50,000. That's the first figure I heard. Then I heard back from Sir Friendly C's camp and they said, no. They wanted to charge us $100,000. $100,000. I, I, I told, I'm going to tell Sir Friendly C during the interview, hey, hey, look here, bro. I will do the recount for you for $25,000, and I'll wash your car, too. Come on, now. That almost is like a subtle form of voter suppression. We have to know for certain the final results of that election. 35 votes? Come on, no, we, no, we we need a recount. But how can we have a? Re we talking about fifty or a hundred thousand dollars? Come on, man. So we're going to talk to Sir Friendly C about that. And I just want to say to folks, hey, you know, uh, I got those uh, interviews and discussions coming up. Uh, please tell your friends about them uh, and uh, be looking out for them, brother. This is the True American Podcast. I'm your host. Please like, subscribe, share.